now we open Revit uh, file and let's open new um, structural template in Revit and I'm go, I'll go ahead 3D view and let's go to under add-ins and we'll click on import IFC file here and we'll let's sub specify our folder and file location the test IFC file and let's hit open and I'm going to proceed to import um, Karamba information into Revit so it's Revit is reading data from Grasshopper through IFC file as you can see Revit is creating all the families that um, we got cross sections from Karamba and IFC file is creating all the families into Revit file alright it's very good so we don't need to manually create all these different cross sections um, now in Karamba and Geometrism Exporter do, do the jobs okay not only cross sections we received from um, Karamba we also received all the supporting condition which is fully fixed and in the exact location of, of the Karamba model and as you can see we have our analytical model that we can send it to robot structural analysis now let's check how many um, exactly beams we have I'll just select them all and I'm going to take structural framing that has 100 we have total 187 beams in our Revit view and I'm going to go in here and let's see how many um, element we exported actually so panel we'll see from the model we have 187 elements we exported and have 100 nodes in this case and let's have a look in here let's select and I'm going to filter uh, sorry analytical model I'll, go, I'll select them and filter and for beams we have 187 and have nodes 100 nodes points and we have five supporting conditions all right which is pretty good we you can see and also in Revit uh, all these different cross sections now we can use um, as a beam uh, export data that we can send it to other applications as you, as you see um, now so to test between Revit to robot now I'm going to go on the analyze and let's use robot structural analysis link to create robot model and I'm going to send this uh, Revit model to robot and robot structural analysis reading Revit uh, IFC file directly in here and it opens up all the bars in robot okay so which is pretty good I'm just going to see Revit and see the warning message if you see and everything is uh, ex uh, exposed successfully except the ah it's okay the structural setting in robot structural analysis is at the moment set to US standard okay that we can hit okay now we can see we have cross sections transferred to robot structural analysis and I'm going to show a little bit of display settings here that we can simply go bar and we can show sections with name then we can see obviously we can see the support condition and different beam cross sections all the cross sections are displayed in this uh, view here let's see if we can calculate the structure of beams then uh, we have already supporting condition and we need to define just load 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 cases um, I'll define okay the dead road live road wind road everything is pretty fine let's go ahead I'm going to give whole structure as a dead road so I'll use this um, load um, dead road and let's apply um, our dead road to entire structure so I'll just use self weight mass to entire model and apply that is applied now and I'll also try to give um, 
extra root. Perhaps in this case, I'm going to give live root. It doesn't matter actually. Um, and let's provide this live root to all the bar that I'll give minus about minus one kilonewton towards z axis, and I'll say add. Okay. Then we can see the different load 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 in um, our Revit model. Okay, we'll close it. And say we didn't seems like didn't apply it. So okay, that okay apply to. Um, I'm going to apply to all the bar, any bar. Okay, any bars we have apply. So we can see the load, um, the uniform load is applied to all the beams. I'm going to calculate this um, condition in r in a robot. So diagrams, and um, let's calculate the structure. Calculate. Okay, and now um, we can see um, for example the result parameter and you can fill the result and I'll go to perhaps um, moment line you see we can see the moment of each beam uh, and also we can you know in, in, in robot if you're a structural engineer you have a better um, thing that you can do and you can probably see the deformation of structure at the moment dead road but we can change the live road to see um, the different result oops live road is quite so I'm just okay um, so that's how we can work around um, between Karamba to Revit by using geometry gym and then uh, in Revit we can get extra information to send it to robot and we can do more detailed analysis in robot structure analysis Thank you.